up in a town that is famous as the place of a movie scene. Noise are always loud and the sirens all around and the streets are me. If I can make it here, I can make it anywhere, that's what they say. Hi guys, uh, Ralph asked me to do a, a little piece on on pitch position. Uh, Homer, Homer talked about the position of the right elbow, and if, if we have the, the back elbow, the right elbow for right-handed players, whether it's touching or not, at, down at the side, he, he called it a punch position. Now, if, if you have the back elbow, whether it's touching or not, down in front, that's what Homer called the pitch. Now, now for the last 32 years or so, maybe make that 33, I think. I've, well, maybe in the last two or three years, I've gotten a little smarter, I think. But uh, I was trying to get my right elbow just as deep and as deep as I could get it. And I've been informed that we can't talk about the conservation angle and momentum, but we can talk about how the distribution of mass changes the rotational characteristics of a, system, a rotating system. And if the mass is close, then it's easier to rotate. If the mass is further away, then it's more difficult to rotate. Now that's one of the benefits of a pitch. And the pitch is that when you keep it closer to your side, let's look at early Hogan here. If we look at early Hogan, he had the same, he was thinking uh, that he, he wanted to get his right elbow as far in as he could, I'm pretty sure. And, and that's pretty deep. And, and as, he, as he got older and smarter, I think, as he, as he got <clears throat> more efficient too, um, his elbow, this is 1964. That's not quite as deep. That's more, oh, I'd almost call that down to side. I always, you look at this position right here, and and you see how much elbow you see there, and you go, well, this, this is, gosh, that's practically his belly button at the moment. Uh, but it's not. It's, it's a little bit more toward his side. It's still in front, though. And that's, I think that's the key element. The key element is slightly down in front. One of the one of the things about down in front is if your hip is away from the ball, it's easier to get in front. If there's more space there, it's easier to get down in front. If um, if your hip gets in the way, then uh, it's going to be down to side. So Trevino Trevino is a good example of being down in front. You can see that uh, that's pretty down in front. His hands really forward. That's good. And look at let's look at uh, Hogan from the top. Remember, I think I've, we've talked about this before. Where um, in the early 1990s we had uh, a biomechanics lab in Reno at the University of Nevada at Reno, and we did some vector analysis of players, and we had. Uh, some software that would allow us to do that. We had a biomechanist who was extraordinarily good at picking. He digitized um, players and he would pick. We had 22 spots that we picked. Unfortunately, the data was taken from th um, 30 frames a second, so that uh, that puts a qu the data a little bit in question, but I think there's some usefulness to it. Now, if you look at the right elbow, see, he's down in front now. This is Hogan from the top. Now that we have a circle around the elbow so you can follow it. Let's just run that. That's kind of fun to think. So we, when, we first, when I first saw this, this was like a, a, a 
a spider web that you'd lose lose the parts. But when we we then started started to take the vectors off and look at them one at a time. But when you look at this, you can see the right elbow. Um, and like I said, you can see where it gets down in front. Let's look at it again. Down in front, right there. It's down in front. Now let's look at Trevino from the top. And we're doing the same thing here. We'll put a little circle around the elbow so you can watch it. Now let's see where he gets down in front. Right there. Now I, I had some <clears throat> footage of, of Trevino years ago and I've been looking all over for it again. I wish I could find it when he <clears throat> when he gets in a position um, like this right here uh, and, I, and I it looks like the, the club is starting to release he would make another move where it stayed as close as it is here and maybe even got closer in and almost looked like he was continuing to load um, and he, he kept pulling with the right elbow so one of the things that uh, Oh, let's look at this guy. Now, this is Tommy Ganey. Tommy Ganey. And this is um, this is just a picture. This is, this is neat because it's a high-speed video. This is probably 300 frames a second. I think it's, this may be BizHub. Um, and so we have like... And, and you see... One of the neat things about Hogan, Trevino, and, and Ganey is that uh, you can see how much right arm bend he has here. We, the, the data we showed is that uh, Hogan was, and, and the Hogan data was taken from, um, it was taken from 90 frames a second, 1964 television. And that's this, um, that's this data right here. And see, this is this was the uh, this was that tip he gave it to one of Shell's wonderful world of golf, and this is the this is what we derived Blobman from. This is 90 frames a second, and when he was at impact, we had him at 133 degrees bent in his right arm, and the next frame he's 100. 35 degrees bent so there was two degrees change from from in in the, in the frame after impact that frame after that's two degrees change so if there's just two degrees change um, that that would indicate that there's an awful lot of pivot working now here's an interesting we, we, I think you've all probably seen this 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 footage and maybe you haven't quite seen it like this, which is kind of fun, I think. Um, the Hogan pivot release. Um, so, so we look at this, it's kind of neat. Um, you know, he, he clearly, if you can see, this is a great example of how bent his right arm stays. Now, now the ball is now... You can see right there, it's the tip of the ball. And um, this is earlier than 1964. I'm thinking, although he doesn't have a lot of hair here, does he? Um, but, but, but you can see how bent that is. And so that's certainly pivot related. Now, now here I'm kind of getting off the subject a little bit. But the, the thing I really wanted to say about pitch, and what I think I've helped myself with with pitch, is it's really easy when you're trying to get these pictures um, to look like. Although, now you see, that's not really, that's, that's so bent and it's a little in front. It's not as far as in front as I was, I was trying to get, but it's so bent and it's so pivot related. I think that's, that's the key about pitch is it has to be pivot related. Um, where I got in trouble and I, where I see so many people get in trouble that are trying to get to pitch, is they try to get to pitch with um, with their elbow. And, and, and so what you do is, is you go to the top of the golf swing, which 
Oops, let's go to the top of the swing over here. Hogan Dynamics. You go to the top of the golf swing. And you make a move with your elbow so it moves toward the center from the top. And that's just a small, tiny little micro, as, as uh, Calvin would say, it's a tiny micro move where your elbow moves toward the, toward the center, moves your right elbow, right elbow moves towards your left elbow, and it's just a tiny move, and then it's all back and hips. It's a tilt to your back, and it's a slide of your hips to get your elbow as far forward as you can get it. So the thing I think you have to be very careful of is trying to get your elbow in front by moving your elbow because that dramatically inhibits the pivot. And when you inhibit the pivot, it puts you into stall. And we think it's so important to keep that keep the pivot going as far as you can because it, it slows down soon enough. And that's I'm hoping that'll help you guys. So don't forget. You never get the elbow in front with the elbow. You always get the elbow in front. Well, that's not true. You get the elbow in front with a twist of the elbow at the top. Tiny twist. And then you use your back. Strong back move. You move a use strong hip slide. And then rip it to the end. end. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, hope everything everything's well with everybody. And talk to you soon.